Hello, my name is Lexi Head, and I'm one of the founders and managing partners of Mercer Wealth Management. One of the questions I often get from clients as a financial planner is what is a safe withdrawal rate in retirement? Sometimes they'll come with a rule of thumb of something that maybe they've seen online or heard on the news. Oftentimes they'll say four, five percent. But frankly, it's so much more nuanced than that. There are a number of different factors that impact what a safe withdrawal rate is in retirement, and it really does vary from person to person. So let's take a look at some of those factors. The first thing we want to look at is when are you retiring and how long do you expect retirement to be? A person that retires at age 60 that's in great health, their safe withdrawal rate in retirement is going to be different than, say, someone that retires at 67 and has some health issues. So really what we're getting at here is what your time horizon and your life expectancy is. The next thing that we want to look at is your asset allocation. Stocks, bonds, cash, alternatives, those all vary immensely in terms of potential returns and the risk. So, for example, someone with a portfolio of mostly equities has the potential for higher returns, but they're also going to have a lot more variability in those returns. They also open themselves up to what we call sequence risk, which is the risk of difficult markets early on in retirement. I'm not saying that's good or bad. I'm just saying that their safe withdrawal rate is going to differ from someone who's maybe mostly invested in cash and fixed income. If that wasn't enough, investors also need to take into account economic conditions. Things like inflation or periods of stagflation are going to make your safe withdrawal rate in retirement differ from year to year. And then finally, we also need to take into account spending patterns and behaviors. If you've met with us to do a financial plan, you've probably heard us talk about how spending varies in retirement. Typically, we see spending higher early on. Maybe you're traveling, doing home renovations, maybe starting new hobbies. Then we tend to see spending taper off as people start to slow down and then increase back up during the in, towards the end of retirement due to increased healthcare expenses or maybe gifting to family or charitable causes. You might be thinking, wow, that's a lot to consider. And frankly, you're right. There's no simple answer to what is a safe withdrawal rate in retirement. It really does differ from person to person and even from year to year. Now, luckily, with the right conversations and the right tools, we can help you develop a plan and help figure out what a safe withdrawal rate is for you based on your individual circumstances. So let's do that. If you'd like to work on a financial plan or update your financial plan, please reach out to myself or to Kayla Dyer. Either one of us would be happy to help you with that. We hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and share this with your family and friends. Until next time, thanks and have a great day.